Hey guys, Dale Puckle here. This is going to be a follow-up video that I did on finesse style or gentleman truck techniques. The one that I most recently posted on removing a door from its hinges. Has some discussions on the importance of a Halligan bar for those types of applications and some of the refinements that you should consider. So I just wanted to touch base on that in this video. Now realize there are a lot of variations of Halligan bars on the market right now. Uh, I only have two versions uh, in this demo. Uh, I have two Pro Bars, and the Pro Bar, as many of us know, is probably one of the most popular Halligan bars on the market, used almost exclusively by uh, the FDNY, Fire Department of New York, and the City of Chicago, but uh, also in many other places throughout the country. And then the other Halligan bar I have on top is a Leatherhead, okay, and that's more their first generation with the stepped ads, which I'll talk about. But one of the things I want to look at, you guys, is... Again, focusing on the Pro Bar, which is probably one of the more popular Halligan bars out there. Uh, some of the refinements that you should consider. So the first bar that you see in the front here with the red and blue tape, this is a Pro Bar that comes right from the manufacturer. It has no refinements whatsoever. So even though it has a lot of great features to this bar, I want to show you that if you look at the tips of the fork, they're fairly blunt. Uh, also pretty thick. You also look notice on the shoulders of the fork, they're rounded over. And then when we work our way to the ads end, and you look at the point, the hook, the horn, spike, pike, whatever you like to refer to it as, not a really sharp tip to it. And then the ads, again, uh, even though it's not completely blunt, it could be refined a little bit better, okay? The pro bar that I have in the middle is a refined bar. And to get it to this point takes about almost an hour of work to be honest with you with a grinder and file etc but you notice that the point sharpened up blades at the blade end of the ads as well and there's also a, a inch and three quarter mark that we use for outward opening doors that's ground into the side of the ads but much cleaner looking end when you compare it to the one that comes right from the, the manufacturer we get down to the fork end, you're gonna see a lot of refinements as well. So just looking at the side profile of the fork, lot more cleaned up, okay? Shoulders of the fork have been squared off. So that's a big difference that you're gonna see, which we use when, or which is important when, we, when we're working with the tool in close quarters and we might be sliding the shaft to drive the fork end with a striking tool. Also on the sides of the fork, you're gonna see another ground in notch, okay? And that indicates the crotch of the fork, which is important uh, when we're doing conventional uh, forcible entry for inward opening doors. You'll also see some firefighters grind another inch and three quarter mark on here as well, indicating the width of the door for outward opening doors. But significant difference, guys, between an unrefined and a refined pro bar. And it's something you definitely wanna consider doing because those ends make a huge difference. And now we're looking at the leather head, and I wanna just kinda of show you the difference between a stock Pro Bar and then a stock leather head. Nothing's been done to this leather head whatsoever. Now this is the uh, more first generation of the leather head with the stepped ads. If you kinda of see it here, it steps up. That has some advantages when we're working on outward opening doors. It kinda of helps to minimize, in some cases, the skinning of a door. But the point right out of the gate is sharper. The ads end is thinner and more refined when we look at the end of it. And we work to the fork end. This one from the manufacturer comes with squared off shoulders, okay? And then if you're gonna see on the side profile, pretty significant difference on the thickness, overall thickness of the fork and the tips of the fork. So again, this is a completely, this leather head is completely unrefined, nothing done to it. This is what it comes from from the manufacturer. So again, when you have these thinner ends, yes, I know there are some concerns that if, if you drop this tool, will, will this tool bend? Uh, will you damage this? And sure, anything's possible. I can tell you that this tool has been dropped a few times and it's been used numerous times uh, in the real world and in training. and it's still holding up great. But again, regardless of the bar that you have, consider making some of these refinements, you guys. Okay, cleaning up 
the taper and the tips and thicknesses of both the fork and the ads in. And I guarantee you that when you get in the real world and you're working on real doors and not just forcible entry props or simulators, you're going to have a lot more success, okay? Because the tool is going to be a lot more user friendly. It's going to be more efficient, more effective when you're working with tight doors, tight jams, small seams, etc.